Hello friends, my name's Jacqueline. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm bringing you the last update with my kitchen install and what the end result looks like. After a two month wait for my quartz counters, the guys are finally here. I'm so excited. They were early, so I had to rush. So first you see me here, I'm just clearing off the mock countertops. The countertops I'd been using were shelves from my pantry. They're also gonna be installing the sink. There it is. There goes the first slab. Wow, what a huge, huge difference it makes. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. quartz was previously measured to fit the counter space in the kitchen so now what they're doing is they're grabbing a caulking gun with some silicone because what they then have to do is put the silicone on the back of the wall to mount the backsplash but to also mount the quartz to the top of the cabinet I'm gonna let everyone know about my love so I really hope you love me Now they're actually measuring off a thin piece of plywood and they're applying the silicone to that and then they're going to drill the plywood into the wall. And this is for two reasons. One, so the stove can have a base to rest on and it's also gonna act as a template for when they install the backsplash. Done. One of the things I absolutely regret is not getting a waterfall, which is when you would extend the quartz all the way down the side. It would give it a more polished look for sure, and then you wouldn't be able to see the counter stools at the side. There's a box, it's a Whirlpool Low Profile Microwave. And this one was literally on back order for almost two months, guys. Here's how the kitchen is looking as you're walking in from the dining room. I'm really not gonna show you the dining room right now, guys. It's an absolute disaster area. of the kitchen from a different angle. The thing about my cabinets is that they're super duper tall because I had a bulkhead and once the bulkhead was removed, I was able to get a longer cabinet and a valance for some under cabinet lighting. This whole area right here was the original pantry which we knocked out. So what I did was because 
The cabinetry is going from floor to ceiling and I wanted symmetry across the top. I left all of them the same at the top. So it's the same length from the pantry and above the fridge as well. Right now, there's this randomness in here. I still need to organize it. And I can get in, because I'm tall, I'm 5'11". One, I split it in two, because I didn't need such a big pantry, so I turned half into a broom closet. The electrical is run down there, so hubby is gonna install it so that the Dyson can charge. And then I've got my broom, the Dyson, and some cleaning products in here, which I need to organize. Other side, this is my whole pantry. I opted for two drawers. The one at the bottom has rice and some staples, and then some randomness in the second one, and I like that. I like the drawer because you can literally pull the drawer out all the way and get what you need from inside. And then I have three shelves, which I need to reconfigure because what's happening now is that the depth of the the depth of the shelf is so long, so it's really hard to get at the items at the back. The casing built in for the fridge and all the bottom cabinetry is all drawers. My favorite, the nine foot island with lots of seating space and prep space. Love, love, love. I wanted to do a built-in range hood, but by the time I decided, the cabinets and everything had already been cut and opted for this low profile microwave. It actually looks really good. Because I wanted the built-in range hood, I was eventually gonna put a microwave here or some cubbies for alcohol, but in the end I changed my mind and just left it open. I'm not at all sure what I'm gonna use this area for. Right now I just use the area to charge my phone, my laptop, because there's a plug in the island with a USB port, which is a must, guys. If you're doing your kitchen, make sure you do that. On the left of the stove, there's three drawers. The right of the stove, there's three drawers here as well, but I opted for a spice cabinet, which was not one of my better ideas because there is no way that this three-tier spice cabinet can hold all of my spices. I'm gonna probably have to change out all the bottles to something smaller. And because there's so many spices, this top cabinet is still used for overage, but there's so much room, guys. I love it, I'm obsessed with this. Right now on the right, I don't have too much going on. I just have these two trays that I picked up. You guys saw me haul those from Chinatown. And then we've got some salt, some coarse salt, olive oil and paper towel. Everything is absolutely done in the kitchen. The only thing left to do is to change the stove. So I want one of the stoves that's got an induction top and an air fryer combination and also no back. And I'm not in a rush. If that's on back order, it can stay on back order until because this stove is working perfectly fine. One thing that wasn't in the plan was the pot filler, but I'm so, so glad, whoops. <laughs> I'm so, so glad I got it, guys. It's amazing. Like, I use a pot filler here and I fill up the kettle. And also, when we're cooking, we could just fill up everything right on the stove. There is no need to go over to the sink, which is great. Let me wipe this up. There's some soup thawing out for supper. Another change I made was taking out the double sink and opting for a larger single sink. So the sink I purchased comes with a cutting board and a strainer. It's my dirty cup. <laughs> it's great, I, I love it. I love, love, love this sink. 
You could pile dishes in there and when people are walking in, they're not seeing anything. And, and a black faucet to match the hardware. This one's touchless, I love it. Side joke, the other day, hubby went to somebody's house and he was tapping the faucet, expecting it to come on. I thought that was kind of funny. I really like the way the black contrast with the white. I had a choice, I could have gotten the gold, but for me, I thought the gold, although it looked pretty, it might have been too trendy. So I just opted for black and white. Clean lines and classic. Under the sink is a mess. This is my cleaning products and some cutting boards. I could never get sick of the soft clothes. <laughs> So there's the backyard. And I'm actually super duper glad that I just waited for the island that I wanted. And I didn't just take something just because what I wanted wasn't available. So guys, you know, sometimes when you really have your mind set on something, it's not the end of the world. I was able to wait. It was annoying, but ultimately we got exactly what we wanted. So that's all that matters. That is it for my kitchen video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch up with you in the next one.